what's happening gang it's your boy retro back again with another reaction video yeah yeah today we got a clip guys this one coming from fox news is the five we got the five news host jessica tarloff absolutely losing it guys losing the rivals once again then trying to blame it all on pregnancy brand guys we got judge janine keeping her honest as usual you know holding her to it she's got some very bizarre statements that she makes about joe biden alongside joe biden saying that donald trump is the biggest threat that he thinks for american citizens right now on the home front guys i'm excited to get to this clip see exactly how they're making a fool of themselves now so we'll get straight to the clip and i'll get my thoughts on the back end of the video guys so definitely stick around to the end so you guys get my thoughts on the back end and also youtube pushes this video out definitely stick around until the end you guys but yo, let's get straight into it before we do that though make sure you guys hit that like button for me and also hit that subscribe button guys we're on the road to the truth hop aboard for the journey let's get into it y'all donald trump and <laughs> joe biden are battling over who gets the nuke codes but the two candidates are already going nuclear on one another president biden launching this preemptive strike what, in your view, constitutes the primary threat to freedom and democracy at home? Donald Trump. Seriously. Donald Trump talk, uses phrases like, you're going to eviscerate the Constitution, he's going to be a dictator on day one. I can't think of any other time in my lifetime, in history has occurred, that you've had somebody who's had this kind of attitude. Oh, man. Kamala is backing up Joe's fear flex. Had it or hit it, Donald Trump totally had it. Had it. Had it over and over and over again. There's so much at stake in this election. I don't think it's hyperbolic to say this genuinely could be the last Democratic election we ever have. You're right. Did you just ask Kamala if she'd sleep with Trump? I <laughs> right. Had it or hit it? Okay. But Trump is not letting those attacks slide. The former president out in Georgia, where he's got a hero's welcome at Chick fil A in Atlanta, and ordered 30 milkshakes for customers who apparently are not lactose intolerant like me. He unleashed the whole arsenal on the Biden regime. We are a nation in decline. Biden is the worst president in the history of our country. He's corrupt and he's incompetent. He can't put two sentences together. And I think we're going to have a tremendous victory. I predict that November 5th will go down as the most important day in the history of our country. He's done more damage than the 10 worst presidents in the history of our country. There has never been anybody that's damaged our country like crooked Joe Biden. Had it or hit it. Apparently, uh, Donald Trump is no Willie Brown, Dana. <laughs> um, so, do you think, uh, they don't think it's hyperbolic uh, to say this genuinely could be the last Democratic election we ever have. <laughs> Maybe it's me, because uh, I was an English major, but isn't that the definition of hyperbolic? I, I, I think you're right. <laughs> Actually, when, you know what? The next time we play our D-block game, yeah. coming up, folks, that's a deep tease, uh, I will have you <laughs> as my partner. Mm. Um, okay, so they have been talking about protecting democracy for a long time, right? And they've been saying all of this about Donald Trump. And I'm assuming that they did that, one, because they believe it, and also because it probably pulls well for them, mm -hmm. for their base, which they still need to lock up. But the problem is, right now, they've squeezed all the juice out of that lemon. Mm -hmm. And President Trump and Donald, uh, sorry, Donald Trump and Joe Biden are tied on yeah. who will protect democracy. So I don't know how much more they're going to be able to do on that one. The other point is you have this really weird dynamic with Biden where in the days leading up to the State of the Union, there were leaks from his administration that he was going to issue some executive orders on immigration in order to get the border under control. Then the night before the State of the Union, they said, actually, no, yeah. he's not doing that. And it's because the Republicans didn't pass the bill. And what did we find then four weeks later? Now we are back to he is likely possibly maybe going to do this executive order because he realizes how bad it is and that's how you get to a 70 percent disapproval on the border and my last point is uh it's the economy stupid and when you have an inflation report like the one you had this morning you will get to inflation economy are you better off for year than today than you were four years ago on the cost of your groceries the cars the gas all of that that's what this election is going to come down to. I think you really hit it. <laughs> uh, Jesse, I'd love to go to some sound on tape. Please. Mm. And then I will come to you after that. Let's roll that, Gladys. 
the last <laughs> We're examining whether or not I have that power. There's no, there's no guarantee that I have that power all by myself without legislation. And some are suggesting I should just go ahead and try it. And if I get shut down by the court, I get shut down by the court. But we're trying to work that work through that right now. Jesse, this is an amazing comparison uh, between a leader and a and a non-leader. Uh, when China released, got that virus out, you didn't hear Trump go, "Let's talk about shutting down the border." Let's. He actually acts. This guy goes, you know, "Let's have a conversation. Let's uh, talk about it." And then and then nothing happens, and then he returns to it. This guy can't act. Well, he can act when he wants to. Yeah. He acted on bailing out students for their loans, but now he's... I, I think he's just buying time because he's been debating in his head what he's been doing about this. This is just to kind of entice people to get them all excited about it. But those cameras at Univision made Joe look old. Mm. Those were bad cameras. I would never do another Univision again. And he was squinting. I mean, he looks 100 years old yeah. in that shot. That was not a he's good He's not look. a good 80. No, he's that's a that's an old 80. Yes. Yes. He they keep saying he's going to end democracy. And I hang around with a lot of liberals. My family's liberals. Even my mother doesn't think he's going to end democracy. This talking point only exists on MSNBC. Mm -hmm. No one ever even comes up to Johnny on the streets and say <laughs> says Trump's a dictator or is going to end democracy. I, I've never heard this anywhere except on cable news. It's not sinking in. And if anybody's a threat to democracy, we can play that game. It's Joe Biden. I mean, his buddies at the CIA and FBI interfered in the last election. They're still blocking investigations into the Biden crimes. So if it, I, don't, I don't like playing that game. I don't think that game is effective. I agree with Dana. This is about the economy. Stupid. The Chick-fil-A event. This was an event to behold. Now, everything you've heard about Donald Trump in the press is that he's like this dangerous racist. He waltzes in there, orders food, and about a dozen African-American women flock to him and take selfies. African-American women, the most loyal voting bloc of the Democratic Party. He has them giggling. Uh, he has them lining up. Uh, he says, Mom, I'm famous now. It's it, it, all love in the Chick-fil-A. Now... If he can just do this, I would run the Chick-fil-A campaign. That's a great idea. I would just go to as many restaurants, grocery stores, malls as I could Absolutely. and just have regular Americans swarm him, embrace him and love wow. him. And that is what is going to win him the election. Like Tiffany. Mm. You know, who's Tiffany? Joe wouldn't do that because he's chicken. Because he's chicken. Yes, you are what you eat. Hey, uh, Judge, so it, 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 I think the, did, uh, the VP claimed that she met with 150 world leaders and they all expressed concern mm -hmm. about That's... this. Do you buy that? Do you no. buy what she's selling? No, never, <laughs> never have, never will. Uh, no, I, I don't even give it a lot of thought. Look, the, the whole idea, and I, I just want to continue with that theme for a minute, of, of Donald Trump being a threat to democracy. I mean, who is it that, as Jesse said, weaponized the DOJ, the CIA, the FBI? You know, they've impeached him. They've indicted him. But the, they're the ones who were taking him off the ballot. Mm -hmm. OK, it's the Democrats who made up that political dossier that they took to a corrupt FISA court by a corrupt uh, attorney general and United States attorney to try to uh, spy on him. They were spying on a candidate for president of the United States. This is done in third world countries. And by the way, I will segue very smoothly into the fact that Joe Biden has made us a third world country. Never in the history of this country have I seen people, especially in New York City, living the way they're living now, where the illegals are coming here, we're greeting them on buses, we're flying them in, they give us this false, you know, I have to, I'm being persecuted, give me asylum, we shake their hand, we give them a goodie bag, they come in, they take a goodie bag and they steal everything they can from CVS, they beat up the employees at Target and at uh, Macy's, then they assault the police police resist arrest there's a trail of destruction economic devastation and by the way i don't think this issue got enough attention do you know that murders are down in venezuela 
the high, that more, the lowest they've been in 20 years. So maybe Donald Trump isn't so wrong about people <laughs> emptying out prisons mm. because our crimes are going up and theirs are going down. And everything about what Joe Biden has done is defying the American law, whether it is entry to this country, staying here. And obviously, we've got to not only make sure that they are bailed whenever they're arrested, but we've got to deport them. Mm -hmm. You know, Jessica, in the green room, you said <laughs> that if Trump wins, it could be the end of all time and space. And what's worse, it will hurt women and minorities more. I did say that. Yes, you did. It's extreme pregnancy <laughs> fog, I guess, as I near the end of the line. Um, that was a very rich discussion. I'm going to try to address as many of the points as I possibly Just can. Just one. <laughs> a commercial break in about 30 seconds. No, 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 no. Commercial break is when I am done with this. So <laughs> the, the threat to democracy point is not working. And all of the good pollsters have made that point very clear to the Biden administration that actually the messaging that works is about the mundane stuff that people want to hear about lowering prescription drug prices and things like the debt and the deficit and preserving Medicare and Social Security. Those are all encompassed in the economy, right? Like how you're doing and how your family's going to survive looking ahead to the future. So that point is definitely out there. But to say that Joe Biden is the threat to democracy, considering what Donald Trump and his band of lawyers tried to pull off in 2020 is complete insanity. I mean, he dispatched lawyers all over the country to overturn a free and fair election. A lot of them have pled out to doing this. A lot of them are still to face trial. And he's doing his darndest to make sure that he doesn't have to show up in any of these courtrooms because he's definitely afraid of what's going to happen there. And as many of these January 6th He's not participant, afraid of anything. All big man, not afraid, whatever. I know him. Okay, I'm sure you, you do know him, and I don't know him, but I don't think that that man who doesn't want to even sleep in a hotel bed wants to go to jail. So... Don't refute what happened. We know about Sidney Powell. We know about John Eastman, who just got disbarred. The Rudy Giuliani, who's obviously not in very good position, how the mighty have fallen. But the point of this interview and doing it with Univision was about Latino support, right, and making sure that he shores that up. And he's down. He was up 29 points with Latinos the first year in office, and that edge is down to nine points. And that's due to the issues of inflation and crime. He's doing better on them, but he's obviously got ground to make up. And it's interesting that this came out yesterday and we had the ruling taking us back to 1864 in Arizona about abortion because Latino votes in, in Nevada and Arizona are what are going to be really crucial there. 57% of Hispanics say abortion should be legal in all or most cases. And Donald Trump is out there defending his stance of you leave it to the states. He did say today, I won't support a federal abortion ban. He has said before that he supports a 15 or 16 week ban. So I, I don't know if he's going to be consistent with that. But the Democrats are going to make that a centerpiece of this conversation as they should. Yo, oh my goodness, guys, you see the denial, the TDS, Trump derangement syndrome coming off of Jessica Tarlov, guys. Fox News hosts just can't get over Donald Trump, guys. He is a blatant threat to democracy. Well, at least she's dismissed that claim. She says that the left has, you know, overused that saying a bit, guys, saying that Donald Trump is a threat to democracy. Even when she realizes, you know, that the fake narratives coming from the left aren't going to work, she tries to, you know, put another spin on it to why Donald Trump is a threat to democracy. You know, she's come out and said, you know, Donald Trump isn't a threat to democracy in the way the left and the media has tried to, you know, play it. So we got Jesse Waters, gut filled, Judge Janine all saying, like, if you go on the streets right now as regular Joe Schmo from the left, if, you know, Donald Trump is threatening to end democracy, he is going to say no, guys. He's not going to know what you're talking about. So Jess Tarlob knows that, the, you know, that point is gone. It's far sailed. Um, and now she's trying to say, you know, Donald Trump is a threat in the way that he had constructed the team of lawyers, you know, to challenge the outcome of the 2020 elections, guys. We all know that not to be true, though. There was no threat to democracy. This guy was simply, you know, expressing his free political speech, guys, by, you know, trying to ask what's going on there, how, you know, this just doesn't add up. And we've got Jess Tarlov trying to paint the picture. This is what the left wanted, guys. All these figures from the left, they have made up this threat to democracy angle that they've been taking on Donald Trump, guys. And that's the reason why they won't abandon it. We're seeing it, you know, time and time again. Every time we see Joe going out there, you know, getting 
getting in an interview and hurting his campaign even further. You know, we've got the lamestream media waiting, you know, to, to put that blanket over the people, shield them from the truth and what's actually going on with Joe Biden, guys. Trying to sell this lie that, you know, Joe Biden is some superhero and Donald Trump is a super villain, um, you know, going to end democracy for good, you know, going to take away your freedoms, which we all know not to be true. And that is exactly why we're seeing this panic from the left, guys. We're seeing, you know, these instances where Donald Trump is proven to be otherwise. He was so evil, we wouldn't see, you know, Chick-fil-A customers and, uh, you know, workers surrounding this guy, flocking to him. Anyone that I believe to be evil or a supervillain, guys, I'm not going to be trying to get a photo with them when they come to my job. I'm not going to be trying to get a photo with them when I run into them on the streets. I'm going to say it now, guys. This guy is the modern day hero for Americans, guys. Like I said, he's been standing in front of the bullets, you know, taking those shots for us. You know, they're not trying to get to Donald Trump, guys. This weaponized state is trying to get to us, you know, the American people. And Donald Trump is just standing and being a shield for the people, guys, standing in the face of all this trouble. Definitely very fun to see the interaction, you know, that Donald Trump gets on the day to day basis when he goes, you know, normal places. As we're seeing Donald Trump get a hero's welcome in Chick fil A, guys, definitely hop in the comment section and let me know your thoughts on this one. Jess Tarlov can't get over the fact that her boss, Joe Biden, just isn't doing well. Then we're seeing Donald Trump, on the other hand, guys, a threat to democracy, walking into Chick fil A, you know, getting a hero's welcome, guys. Definitely hop in the comment section and let me know your thoughts on this one. Also, make sure you guys hit that share button, share this out to as many Facebook friends as possible, guys. Share the truth. Also, make sure you guys hit that like button, guys. It doesn't cost a thing. Hit that like button for your boy. And also hit that subscribe button, guys. We're on the road to the truth. Hop aboard for the journey. I'll catch you guys on the next one week.